All right, going to be taking a look at stock ticker symbol KOSK, currently traded at 0125. Uh, obviously, if you guys are watching this one, you see the red day, and you're probably asking yourself why. What is going on there? What's causing this? Whatever the case might be, uh, we're going to jump into that and take a look. So it's uh, 01. Okay, I see right here. Uh, we can pop that line right here. I'm just going to do a few of these lines here because we've never looked at this one. Okay, right down there. That's going to be up in those levels. Uh, as far as support. Okay. Now I hope that you get a better idea of what we're looking at here. Okay, so obviously you guys, like I said, you see seven down 7.79%. 7, uh, Not too big of a deal. Uh, but it's going to be healthy. Look at this. You guys are outside that upper Bollinger Band right now. That upper Bollinger Band, when you get outside of there, that's why I call it a band. Look at, you're up here, pulls back down to the bottom, and goes back up. So if you understand these Bollinger Bands, if not, I definitely encourage you to watch more of our videos because then you can learn about them. Uh, and also avoid the gaps with penny stock gap ups. Don't do this over on YouTube. You'll definitely learn a lot more from that on uh, what we look for. All right, so you might have thought that you're going to make your way up to that upper area of 0150, which would have been the next resistance level, got outside that upper Bollinger Band, people taking profits from that move down here at 0, uh, 0052. 0, 0, so think about that. It's almost a triple, you know, over a double from that area, almost a triple, whatever the case might be, uh, some rough math. If you get up to that area, now you're pulling down. My personal opinion, I think that you might end up pulling down uh, maybe to the 0097 area. Uh, before you bounce off of it, maybe the next few days, if the buying pressure does not return. If it does, you're going to need to get past that 0144. So I'm going to type this up and hand it over to Joe, and hopefully Joe can tell you what's going on. All right, so One Stop Vending Corp is a publicly a public company registered in Carson City, Nevada, and headquartered in San Diego, California. The company grows through acquisitions and cooperative agreements with companies that have high potential and capabilities of achieving substantial growth resulting in rapidly acquiring market share we build key strategies for our subsidiaries while providing financial and operational business support for the moment the company targets the following key business sectors food and refreshment services self-checkout systems and mobile vending their unique capabilities include experience strategic thinking and proven execution strategies to produce Measurable results harnessing the extensive international expertise of their management team. The company's common stock is currently traded on the over-the-counter OTC markets under the ticker symbol KOSK. So uh, that's pretty much what they have written down for the uh, for their business description, like about us. Um, I'm looking into like news and everything else. They're not like you know big on putting out news and stuff, so I don't see much on that. And then uh, their latest press release was from, you know, let's see. It's been a while. But they're up to date. They're pink current. Yeah, so their last press release was in uh, June of last year. So they're not big on doing press releases. And then uh, their filings, they're, uh, like I said, they're pink current right now. And then the latest for filings was their quarterly back in November of 2016. So, uh, I mean, if you're, if anybody's interested in this company, definitely go over to Investors Hangout, click on the KOSK, hit up their board, you know, check out the, uh, or especially if you have information on the company, you know, write it down for the tens of thousands of people that are coming over to Investors Hangout. Then you could also uh, hit up the company profile, check out the time and sales, recent news, which is, like I just said, there hasn't been any recent news. But then uh, go through the filings if you want to look at that quarterly from November. I'm guessing they should be up to date. We're well, getting another one soon enough. And with the financials and buy rating. Um, that's pretty much that. That's all there is right now on this one. Okay. So, again, uh, as far as the chart goes, I uh, mentioned it right there. Uh, 0125, watch for a pullback outside upper Bollinger Band support at 0097, 008. If buying returns resistance at 0144, 0201. Uh, so definitely encourage you to stay up to date. Like Joe said, go over to investorshangout.com and to stay up to date with all the stock analysis videos that we put out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that like button. Share this video with all others. We would definitely appreciate that. If you're watching this stock or any others, you can go ahead and let us know. Head over to investorshangout.com forward slash live.
and let us know. We will be sure to add your favorite sock to the next stream.